Man, oh man, this thing is amazing. Looky there, that's what you're gonna see in the box. We got an accessory packet. We got a remote control. Here it is, the moment of truth. Come on. Look at this truck. This thing is massive and amazing. If you can't tell, I love RC cars. Okay, so let me get something to clip these zip ties to get this off of the box. We're gonna open this up, look at what's inside, and then we're gonna take it for a test drive. Man, oh man, look at this truck here. This truck is 12 inches wide and 24 inches, that's right, two feet long. This is an eight scale, fully functional RC car, including working lights and winch, two speed transmission. This is a rock crawler. It's got very supple, soft rubber tires and oil filled shocks. This is not what you get at the big box stores. This is what you call stepping up your game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop these little pins off the top. And we're gonna take a look under the hood to see what this thing really looks like. And there's all your little connections for your different lights. And this is your connector for all those different lights. But look at this beast here. You have aluminum in the frame. You have four oil covered shocks. You got a big powerful steering servo in the front. Four wheel drive. Look at these actual real differentials with a transfer case in the center and a big legendary electric motor right here. And this, because it is a crawler, all the weight and the center of gravity is really low on this to help you climb those extremely steep angles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some batteries for the remote control, because this is rechargeable. It comes with this battery pack right here. And this is actually branded for the RC car. And it's a 6S 7.2 volt 1800 mAh Rango battery. This is an NIMH battery. This is not LiPo battery. And this is a brushed motor, not brushless. All right, we're gonna put the battery back in and let's get those batteries. Alrighty, so here's the remote control itself. And yes, folks, this is a five channel remote control truck. That means five different functions. Let's put some batteries in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn the remote on. We have a blue light. We're gonna plug the battery up to the truck and we're gonna turn it on. Beep, 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 beep. And looky there. Look how fast that steering is. Very nice. Does it spin? Let's find out. Dang, that thing actually pushes hard. You just saw that four wheel burnout. Okay, so on the top, you're gonna have two buttons right here and one button actually lets out. Let me see if I can turn this to where you can see it because it's super cool. But it's actually a steel cable and it is a winch, an actual functioning winch. And then you could hook it up to a little tree or something or another RC vehicle and you just, and it does have enough torque to actually pull this. That is so cool. All right, what else does this thing do? You got channel three, which is right here on the side. Oh, that's your gearbox. See this little servo in here that goes to the transmission. That's how you actually shift your gear from low to high. Let's see if we can see a difference. That's low and that's high. That's for cruising around the yard, ripping and having a good time. Then when you want to do some serious rock crawling, you just hit this little button right there and it gives you that real slow, high torque for climbing up rocks and steep inclines. So very, very cool RC truck. On the back, you actually have D-rings for connecting and pulling other things. You have D-rings in the front with the big off-road bumper. I want to put the top on this and connect up all these lights and see what it looks like all lit up. So I have a feeling 
this unknown channel right here on the side is going to be for these lights. So let's go ahead and try to get this all hooked up. And all these wires are labeled as to what plugs up where. So let's just set this back on top and see what we got. And now that we have all the wires hooked up, you can see that the headlights are actually on. And that's all controlled with this little switch right here, this little blue one. These are your other channels. If I pull it all the way back, you can see the headlights go off. If I go forward one click, you can see you get a little flashing sequence. If you go all the way forward, they stay on. And we're going to turn it around. You have a blinker. You can see the right blinker on. Left blinker's on. And you actually have re brake lights or reverse lights. And I'm going to switch it back to the front. And you can see the blinkers. So how cool is that? I am so ready to take this thing outside and see what it has. So let's bring this outside and give it a go. All right, so the first test that we're gonna do for Rango is we're gonna see if it can climb this 45 degree slope. And yes, I will get them lined up. Let's see. Take it nice and easy. There you go, 45 degree angle. Oh, he almost went back. I had to slam it in reverse. All right, let's do it again. And yes, you can even stop on the 45. Let's keep trying to go. Come on, oh, I keep hitting that. So there you go, climbing test, or part of the climbing test. We're gonna do some more climbing. What I wanna do is see how fast it is, and this is low gear in the yard, in which you don't expect it to be that fast, because it is low gear. Come on, we can do it, Rango. Shouldn't be no problem for Rango. Yep, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see if we can come down without shooting off the hood. How good are the brakes? Oh, check it out. Easy. Let's try to go backwards. Nope. I'm just taking it easy. So, and there you have it. The legendary Rango 8 scale rock crawler. A very nice little car for the price. I know that for an RC car, it is expensive. But for, but for a hobby grade rock crawler, it is a very decent price. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.